Hello, people of the world. This is Jason is Lost here in Tokyo. And uh, I thought it was about time that I made a room tour of my apartment dorm here at uh, Tufts University, Tokyo. Uh, this is dorm three. This is the third of three dorms here at the university. Uh, I guess we'll play the video. So from the center of the Tufts campus, you simply walk down here and eventually you'll find yourself outside dorm one. Now from outside dorm one, you turn down to the right and eventually you'll find yourself outside the entrance to dorm two. And from dorm two, you can retrace your steps, go all the way back past the front of dorm one and you'll find yourself outside dorm three. And this has been my home for the last year. So I thought I'd make a video. Uh, I'll show you around the room. I'll show you what you get. Uh, I'll show you what I've added to the place. Right, let's start by the doorway. Uh, I've got my cases down here. One goes into the other, so that's quite handy. Uh, I've got myself a little dustpan and brush. Got some storage here, pants and socks, place for your umbrella, which is pretty cool. And of course, I've got my tea area here. So we've got twinings, Yorkshire tea, green tea, coffee, sugar, sweetener. These are really cool. These are for your rice or cooking. Uh, just some black seeds that you can sprinkle in. Pretty handy. Uh, cereal. Uh, got a, the most beautiful little peach that I picked up yesterday. I do indeed have two microwaves at the moment. One of them is my friend's, though I doubt he's actually going to come and pick that up. Uh, I did have a really cool oven, but I'm moving out soon and uh, I sold that. Uh, it was really cool though. I guess I'll put a clip in of using that. Oh yeah. Oh, easy. I guess you'd call this area the pantry. We've got peanut butter, lots of the very necessary fajita spice mix packets. Pasta, tonkotsu sauce, Tabasco, uh, some nori seaweed. Okay, these are really necessary as well. Uh, English cereal, uh, typical cereal is really hard to find. So I brought loads of uh, packets of oats. So simple here. Uh, what else we've got? Golden curry, more pasta, Nando sauce, uh, some sriracha there. Mirin that I've only ever used a few times to make um, teriyaki sauce. Uh, a few other little bits there, cooking oil. Now the shelving isn't included, I bought those myself. Uh, I think less than 2,000 yen on a website, possibly Amazon. Uh, also the oven that I had, um, that was from Amazon as well. Um, the microwave was second hand, they do have a, a student's bazaar here, a couple of weeks after you start, so definitely worth checking that out. And the fridge uh, is looking very bare at the minute. Got some shoyu, got some coke, Picari sweat, milk, eggs, um, this is um, salad dressing. There's really nothing in there. Got some salad, got some butter. Okay, let's. this is just depressing. Let's get out of here. Let's take a look at the actual kitchen area. Uh, the place comes with one hob, electric, and here I've got some salt, pepper, olive oil. I think I've used the wasabi exactly once. Uh, the kettle, possibly the most important aspect of the room uh, for tea and uh, sometimes coffee. Um, I tell you what, it took me forever to find a chopping board that actually fit. And even then, it's still a bit small. Uh, but then I realized it was just easier and less washing up to use a plate. Um, what I did get from the um, 100 yen shop, you can get these hooks, stick them on there and they hang a few things. Um, and also this was from the 100 yen shop, just for the cutlery and stuff. Uh, this is where most of the stuff lives because I just leave it there after I've done the washing up. And onto the bathroom. Pretty standard for uh, most small apartments. I do indeed have Hello Kitty toilet paper. Uh, bath, shower, uh, you uh, just use the same controls here. Um, here's a note, I did find that if you have the shower curtain like that, it does get mould pretty quickly. I think it's due to the humidity. Uh, but yeah, always keep your shower curtain out like that. As we make our way from the hallway, we've got more storage up here. Uh, these are the heat packs from my um, Hokkaido video that I made on the mountain. Uh, down here, the hangers, about five or 10 for 100 yen, 200 yen, I think, from the 100 yen store. Uh, the bins as well, uh, that's all my laundry down there. The bins are uh, 100 yen, I think, from the 100 yen store. Uh, the mirror was actually given to me by a student that was leaving. Thank you very much for that. Uh, very handy. And we have a look over here. We've got the desk. Jessica Negri, I don't know what you're doing there. Let's turn you off. Now the chair is included. Uh, the shelves aren't. 
had to get those separately. Someone was actually giving those away, which was quite handy. Uh, regarding the uh, rugs, very handy, very necessary. The uh, red one was about 500 yen from Notori, I think. And these blue ones were about 1,000 each. Very, very necessary. So, of course, my room is filled with plenty of Tachikoma from my Ghost in the Shell unboxing. Uh, some very cool stickers there on my laptop. My desk is pretty much filled up with camera stuff. Loads of toys, some books, uh, Metal Gear Ray, I got that from my dad for Christmas. I'm yet to put that together, but you'll see that soon. Uh, Cards Against Humanity, of course, and the chalkboard is provided. Plenty of stuff on there from my adventures. Uh, up top, there's lots of storage, lots of junk up here. Uh, board games, Munchkin, I definitely recommend Munchkin. Across the curtains there, more hooks, and they're able to take the weight of my jackets. Uh, the bedding stuff, uh, you'll find that at Notori or certain places. More Pokemon toys than I ever thought I'd end up with, to be honest. Uh, posters, very hard to get hold of, but certain shops like Toki Hands, they'll have them. They'll also have these uh, great Japanese art prints on the sheets there. And this is the balcony, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is facing south. Uh, we're right by a fire station uh, who do like to make a bit of noise uh, with their practicing. Um, while it may have woken me up now and then, I don't really mind. It fills me with complete confidence in the Japanese fire service. Right, that's pretty much it for the room tour. Thank you very much for watching. This video is part of a series on Tufts University. I'm making a few videos to introduce the campus and the accommodation and the surrounding area as well to get you started if you're enrolling here at Tufts University. So if you liked what you saw, please do check out my other videos. I've got a load of links there in the description and uh, it really does help if you like and subscribe and I do appreciate it. Thank you. So I will leave you there and I will see you in the next video. Bye.